This is Hearn, a small autonomous submarine undergoing trials on England's south coast. It's a development of a commercial sub that BAE Systems and their partners are developing for naval use. At the heart of the vehicle is BAE's Nautomate, Autonomous Military Control System. It's got the power to think through situations by itself. For example, how to go around obstacles or how to avoid detection the best. Hearn is designed to fit in a 40-foot shipping container, could fit inside a Type 26's mission hangar or indeed an A400M. Ten of the world's navies have been here to assess it. Of note, the craft's modularity, which means you can fit lots of different bits into these payload bays, depending on what you want it to do. Today uh, on the south coast we're showing reconnaissance capability, and that's fitted within a payload bay on the vehicle. But actually you can, you can take that payload bay out, and within an hour you can remove it and slot a new one in. And that could be a whole range of capabilities from the ability to detect uh, submarines to survey critical national infrastructure. So it gives a huge amount of flexibility for customers. By using an existing platform from Canadian company Cellular, it means development to this stage has only taken 11 months. BAE say 18 more and it'll be ready for customers with huge spec variations depending what that customer wants. From budget-friendly battery versions with moderate endurance to hydrogen fuel cell types capable of thousands of miles at sea. Works already in hand to equip the subs with just one payload bay capable of holding and then firing torpedoes like Stingray. And developers are aware that today's navies want longevity in their products, even if they are high-tech at the time of purchase. We've seen the, the, the pace of development of technology just be astronomical over the last few years, and, and that's only going to continue or even get even faster. So what we're really trying to do is develop a, a, a platform that will remain static, but the, the capabilities that go within that platform and the systems that go within that platform can be switched out as they develop, as they improve and as they enhance. Here, Hearn's raising its communications mast. In use, this will protrude just a few feet above the waterline with the sub still submerged. BAE say reaction to this project has been good and they're hopeful of orders. Tim Cooper, BFBS, Forces News, the South Coast. Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.